always hated clones, but never as much as I did when I woke up today. Finding one in your bedroom first thing in the morning just isn't funny. I've been afraid. Somebody entered my apartment as I slept, murdered this clown, left him in. Blood gushing from his throat. Like one of those fountains with an angel taking a whiz. My designer cabin was ruined. I couldn't trust anybody. As I looked over the cold, tender pile of flesh decomposing, along with everything I'd ever known, there was one thing I couldn't be sure of. He's dead. I got the hell out of there as fast as I could. The killer could still be around him. I didn't feel like bleeding today. Could have been any of those freaks. There was one suspect that stood head and shoulders above the rest. Not the oldest guy. But the deadliest gangster in this story. I was on my way to meet him face to face. Well, I say face to face, I was going to talk to his wife. You want banking behind his back? Well, if it isn't Bradley Dressed, best dressed guy in the West. Lola Phoenix, part time model. So, where have you been, hot stuff? I haven't seen you for days. Thought you'd swap for a young model. <laughs> Get it? Young model? Because I'm a model? <laughs> I'm hilarious! Lola was not hilarious. So where have you been? Well, I woke up this morning and found a dead body in my bedroom. <laughs> but it's not the first time you've woke up with a stiff one. Yeah, look, Lola, this is serious. I think I've been afraid. Does sound serious. Seriously boring. Did you tell your husband about us? That would be a shame to actually talk to my husband. So you don't talk to him? Well, if I did, what would I do with you? Besides, I don't need to. He knows everything. He's the most feared gangster in these parts. He's got spies all over the city. I have the police force on his payroll. He might be a moron, but he's no clown. Geezer in your dressing room. Ah, nah, nah, nah. You're having a laugh, ain't ya? It's not what it looks like. Had it, squire. <coughs> you coming to my establishment? Papers. Well, I'd have to bend down to do that. <laughs> Hanson Wick, do I look like I'm in the mood for insults? I don't know. I can't see your face from up here. I wish I could see yours, bag of fruit. What do you know about a dead clown? I know. I'm looking at one. Very good. What have you killed any? Recently? This morning? What's his mouth? Flapping his go about, Twinkle. He's worried that you killed a clone and framed him for it because you found out that he's my tie by and that certain parts of him are bigger than you are. Oh, that does it. It's time to say hello to my little friend. You have friends that are shorter than you? I gotta see this. I'll show you. You'll see. Only if you bring a stepladder. 
What do you ever see in that guy? Let's just say that his height has its advantages. As far as I can tell, that shrimp Martin Kemp wasn't the one behind the murders. Though I had no piss off a tiny gangster, I have a philosophy. Don't worry about the small things. But my investigation had reached a dead end. Damn. <laughs> Business was about to pick up. Let me guess. Man troubles, lady problems. Isn't it always? Some bozo brought your heart. <laughs> Something like that. Here. Cut from the finest silk this side of my wardrobe. The name's Bradley Dressed. If you want to talk, come by my apartment. It's Rue Jerry, apartment 13X. Get it over there. 13X? It could all be the West of the Marty of the Bozo, the West of the Gaddy of the Commando. Who plumbed la pissing? Oh, I am so sorry. You are such a kind of person to have a kind of to a total stranger. You are a very special person, Mr. Dress. So brave, so handsome. I wish you'd take up your offer. Scott? I shall do by later tonight. Or have a on, sir. Hey, what's your name? Eve. Meeting Eve had almost made me forget I'd been framed for a murder. And that there was a dead client in my bedroom. Eve was into me. Oh yeah, she'd give it to me so bad. But even I knew I'd have trouble explaining that. I decided to wait five minutes, but we're heading back. No reason, so don't ask. Should have got home sooner. Somebody beat him to it. Damn you, penis! Sir Bradley dressed. Detective Dick Weasel. There are two things you need to know about Detective Dick Weasel. One, he lives up to his name. And two, his police badge is made out of cardboard and tinfoil. I take it you already know about the dead clown? After all, you did kill him, did you not? I did not. Did? Didn't. Did times infinity? Didn't times infinity plus one? Very well, be childish. Take a look at this. Is this supposed to be a clue? It's a picture of a kitten in a barrel. Is this supposed to mean something? I've never seen this picture before. Oh really? Then why does it have your name written on the back? You wrote that on yourself. You felt it. Now what are you trying to accuse me of, sir? That I'm not an honest, upstanding police officer determined to see the right man hang for this most horrid crime. This photo was sent to me along with this. A detailed report of the murder seen by a witness. Are you taking the piss? Who sent this to you? It was sent to me anonymously, sir. What kind of police officer would I be if I gave out the name of witnesses to murder suspects without taking a bribe first? Do we have a deal? No deal. Ah, the bank is most displeased with this development. I shall have to take him in for interrogation instead. Your bail money should keep him happy. I'm not going anywhere. But you refuse the offer. You have to take what's in your box. I didn't choose a box. Then you have no business refusing the banker's generous offer. That, sir, is fraud. Look, Detective Dick Weasel, you're gonna tell me you sent me this report and I'm gonna put you through a window. Oh no, please, sir. 
Besides, there's no windows in this dingy place. Could make one. With your face. Alright, alright. There was a girl. She brought it to me. She'd been crying. Probably because she'd been so bad at drawing, eh? <laughs> Get out! I will be back, Mr. Dressed. I will see you home for this. Have a nice day. What a dick!